Yep, we had a temple. Here. It's at this shrine. Go oh, shrine. We should get going. Hey, Omaru, do you have a second? Huh? I yeah. Are you really sure this is okay? To end it like this? Running away? Mm -mm. You're asking this now? All this time I've been trying to escape. And not just that. I'm still worried about my dad and mom. What are you gonna do, Toko? Are you really gonna stay here? Uh, of course, I have to save Master Biakia. Right. Hey, what do you think, honestly? Is it better for me to stay in this city? Why are you asking me? I mean, if I go, you'll be alone. Toko, do you want me to stay? You have no reason to worry about me. I'm capable of surviving on my own. Yeah, you're right. When I'm around, I'm just a burden to you. Unlike me. You're truly amazing, Toko. Hey, Omaru? Hmm? Sorry for getting you involved in all this. Finally, some pe parts of softness coming from Toko. Finally! Involved? What do you mean? N nothing. Wait. Wait. Was that deeper meaning to what she said? Just leave before he changes his mind. I I don't know what it is, but Toki been acting very suspicious throughout the entire thing. She is really suspicious. I don't know if I'm just overthinking it, or maybe I'm just looking at the situation way too, you know, way too detailed into this, but every part of me feels like something Toka must have had even a, an ounce to do with this entire situation. Maybe even an ounce. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe just reading too much into that because she decides we're suspicious all around her, but there was a meaning behind this. Getting her involved into this. There's a meaning behind this, this has to be. What is this? Children know this town better than I thought. I thought this place would be fine. I was confident that I would never be found. But as if they knew where I was hiding from the beginning, Amorikuma came and attacked me. We're just barely able to escape, but I couldn't save her. My wife was killed. She was torn apart, limb from limb. The cut off her skin and her flesh was everywhere, but I just ran away. I'm done for. There's no place to hide, no place to run in this Wait. city. Um. That is horrible. It's true that your parents were cruel to you. That doesn't mean you can kill all the adults. <laughs> Again with the nonsense, after all this, we're all well aware we're killing innocents. But This is war. When you're burning the enemy's country to the ground, do you stop and spare the good people? Even if we had years, would even if we had years sorry I had to move the mic. Even if it even if we had years, would never achieve our dream with that benevolence. But, but Demon. consider it fate. We're born and raised here. We're treated as if we were only human. Wouldn't it be a cruel twist of fate if we didn't fight back? Um, but for you to just do to them what they've done to don't you. Mess with me. Perhaps you think we should have stayed subhuman? Just accept no. it? Not okay. like that. Then you tell me, what should we have done? What was the right thing to do? What should we have done to earn the privilege of normal, happy children? Don't mess with me! Stop being such a drama queen. You could have relied on the police, on the government. Don't mess with me! Asking those who have their lives destroyed by adults to trust other adults? <sighs> I mean. Child Protective Services are very, very eager to sweep away parents, to be completely honest. Ever since we have were born in Toa City, our destiny was decided. No one can stop us. With all the children in this town, we will build an ideal paradise. With all the children in this town? You're talking about those brats in the helmets? Of course. It's not just us, but also the Monokuma kids. All the children. It's far too suspicious. Funny thought all the kids in this town just have to have murderous intentions like you. <laughs> Perhaps I've said too much. I have nothing else to say to you. You cannot stop us. Pretty bold for a shrimp like shrimp, shrimpy little brat like you to talk big. I don't care how fortunate your children your childhood were, killing humans will never be okay. 
I don't expect a demon to understand. Yeah, I mean, difference of interest. That shit was a very apparent between them before we do anything. Mana Mana Machine. I keep calling them Mana Mana Yashin from the very first game. But I guess it's just a Mana Mana Machine. Eh, battery filled. Very nice. <sighs> this is not turning good, Lin Gents. Meh! Brought it back. I brought it back. I see the comments. I see the comments. Some of you missed the meh every single time we save. You thought the streak would end. But no, it's back again. It's back again. You know who you are. I read comments. I know what's going on in the comments. <laughs> anyway, go and follow Nagisa. Produce, produce pronounced pronounce Nagisa, I think. I'm just gonna go with Nagisa. It's gonna potato potato, man. Potato potato. I'm not good with Japanese names. This is it. Wait, that little shrine? Oh. Stairs? This is the secret passageway we prepared in case of emergency. Go through here, and you can get outside the town. Oh. What are you doing? Hurry up and leave. Kamaru, Kamaru is hesitating. Girl, Kamaru, Kamaru, you gotta stay. You gotta stay with Toko on this. You gotta stay with Toko on this. Hey, what's the holdup? If you just go through here, you'll be outside of the city. Didn't you want to run away? Didn't you want to escape this town? Th that's right, that's... what I've always wanted. At least that's... what I thought. Toko, is it really okay for me to go? D do whatever you want. It has nothing to do with me. Not anymore. Oh my. Seems like I made it just in time. Oh, what is the snake slithered in? The snake is slithering in. <gasps> that looks interesting. Man, that was close. Truly a last minute save. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Nagito. How are you doing? I see you got some very lovely art in your face. I'm guessing the kids did it. You? Why are you here? Why am I here? To persuade her to stay, of course. So that our boring and common protagonist who has no distinct characteristics doesn't just quit. Hmm. Huh? Oh, Toko looks really terrified. Komaru Naeki, though you are normal, not an ultimate, or even a part of Future Foundation, I really do think quite poorly of the idea that you would abandon your friend and run off alone. Are you really going to just run away like this? Is your conscience clear? Ooh, he's gonna manipulate the situation. He's... Ooh, he's just... Oh. What is he doing? What is he trying to do? Also, realize that Toko, she knows who he is. He, she knows who he is. They've known about the ultimate despair for some time, obviously. So she probably is terrified because she knows exactly who he is and what he could be capable of, as well as the other ultimate despairs. Stop it! What are you saying? She's about to leave for good! That would be quite bothersome for me, you know? That is why I must convince her to stay. It works in his favor as well! What is he on about? Huh? It would be disappointing if she did not see the game through to the end. How it was meant to be. D don't just go speaking your mind without permission! You're a servant! Listen to me. In order to see her paradise, this girl cannot stay here. So then I must ask, which is more important to the Warriors of Hope? Paradise or the game? W what are you talking about? It's obviously... The game, of course. What? You're a smart one. You must be at least vaguely aware. Otherwise, you wouldn't be sneaking about. You could have openly proposed a halt to these slaves to focus entirely on building paradise. True. It could have. And the reason you did not do exactly that and are instead going behind their backs is because you realize your favorite Miss Mage would choose the game over paradise. 
Do you know what you call someone who behaves like you're behaving? A traitor. You're wrong. I care about them more than anyone. They all have high hopes for me. I mean, I am the leader. Nagisa. Isn't it best if you just calm down a little? You can leave the rest to me. Ugh. Okay, I really think you should. D damn it! That's right. People who are not needed in this scene should go and make their exit. What are you talking about? What are you, he's on about something. What is he on about? I must admit. I am a little disappointed. When I heard that she was his little sister, I was intrigued. His? Makoto? Do you know him? Oh, does he? Now listen, since I've planned the game out this far, I would like it to be completed. Of course, perhaps I am being somewhat unfair to you, Komaru. Rather, the one who disappointed me was Toka. Huh? Huh? Uh... She's he's on about something. He knows something that she may not be telling. Now perhaps I am mistaken, but I believe we made a promise. You were to escort her to headquarters. A promise? Wait. Promise? Es escort? What are you talking about? What? Oh, I really think it should be Toko who answers that question. I hope she does. But if you continue to be silent, the story cannot progress. So I will speak. I made a deal with Toko. If she escorts you to the children's main base, I will release Byakuya Togami. Oh. Oh. No wonder she'd be very secretive. No wonder she'd be very secretive and why she's nervous around him. Oh. Nagito! You manipulated son of a bitch, you. Consider it exchanging hostages. The plan was to trade you and Byakuya. Oh! That I did not expect. What? What are you talking about? And it was such a good deal, too. Why did it have to come to this? That's a lie, right? You're lying right now, aren't you? You're just making it up! Oh, Toko. God damn it! If you believe it to be a lie, think back on when you two first met. When you first arrived at the hospital on your parachute, did you know why Toko turned up there? She came to save you because she was told where you would be landing. How else could you possibly explain such a contrived encounter? Oh. I guess I'll explain the it. The reason Toko has been your companion through all this was because of her deal with me. Lies! You're lying! He's not. I went through considerable trouble making sure you would complete this little game. Returning the hacking gun you had lost. Having the Monokuma kids deliver items. That was me. Consider it game balance, as they say. You've thought about it before, I'm sure. Why enemies conveniently drop items? Why the path you must travel on to advance is always clear. The game began as a way for the children to have fun, but it was also a game to help you grow. And I am the one who made it that way. Wh why me? Hmm? You mean, why was I so particular about choosing you? It must be because she was related to Makoto. Well, that is all your brother's fault, of course. Makoto? He defeated Junko and Oshima, the one I truly hate. And I wasn't there to witness it. He did have major grudges against her. That's why, this time around, I wanted to see the action up close. And not only that, unlike him, an ultimate, you are a normal girl who can't do anything. That was particularly compelling. Her brother, a hero, the symbol of hope. The little sister, utterly boring by comparison. If someone like you were to stand against despair, that would bring hope to the people. Hope is exclusively found on the side of the weak, the losing side. 
people are touched by underdog stories. Slaying Goliath, the weaker team winning a game. The majority of society is made up of the weak and untalented. They are inspired by such tales. What are you saying? If my assumptions are correct, you will release a light even brighter than his. And in order for that to happen, I need you to participate in my game. Through the game, you will grow, defeat the final boss, and become the hope for this town. That's why it would be quite disappointing if you give up halfway through. Wait, was this his way of trying to... Oh, I think he was trying to manifest an ultimate out of her. I really think he was trying to manifest an ultimate as well to see how far she would go. But also trying to see if maybe an ultimate could be born out of a boring sister who has a brother of such prestigious like title as an ultimate hope. Ha! Huh. So he's been playing this he been playing this whole thing all along from the background. And I'm pretty sure the kids aren't even for, like aren't even for you know the Monokuma kids. I'm pretty sure they're not even for the heroes of hope, right? The warriors of hope. I'm pretty sure he'd be manipulating them from the background. Granted, the ultimate despairs are the primary descendants in I guess in a ranking behind Junko and Oshima. So technically the technically uh, Nagito would definitely outrank the kids in power and control, and that's why he'd be able to manipulate the other Monokuma kids. Please save this town from despair. Show me your dazzling light of hope to crush despair! Okay, that that is terrifying to look at. Jesus Christ, the size. This is the one thing that creeps me out about him every single time. Fuck, that's creepy. W what do you mean? I'm... Hope? I, I don't understand what you mean at all. Ah, uh, I see. So you still don't understand. I blame myself. I should have been more enthusiastic. But regardless, I truly do believe in you. No matter how big the despair... Hope will always win in the end. Jesus fucking Christ, those eyes! Those fucking eyes! Jesus Christ! That is why I feel no remorse becoming despair myself. You're, you're just as crazy as those kids! You must be insane! Oh, Komari, you have no idea! Who cares about me? The more important thing is what you two are going to do now. I mean, now that Toko's lie has been uncovered. Toko, please, just tell me the truth. What he's saying, it's a lie, right? That I'm gonna be traded for Byakuya, and you've been lying this whole time. That's, that's gotta be a lie, right? Answer me, Toko! <laughs> Who would actually want to save someone like you? Of course it's not a lie. What? All this time, I was protecting you and cheering you up. It was all for the sake of Master Byakuya. Toko. Jesus. That's right. I was deceiving you. And you just kept relying on me. Toko! Toko! Uh, trusting me like an idiot. It's your fault. Don't be doing it, Toko. Don't be putting blame on her. I... I believed in you. Well, you shouldn't have done that. Why would you believe in me? I have a split personality with a serial killer. I'm abnormal. All my life, nobody even tried to trust me. It's always been like that. That's why I've never had a problem lying to people. But regardless, why do you believe in someone like me? Toku. From the very start, I hated you. Just being with you was insufferable. Lies. It's all lies. I'm not lying. It's the truth. I tricked you from the start. You were a fool not to realize it. You're just a stupid idiot who got set up by the coward Toko Fukawa. Simple as that. Damn. Ah, Toko. Don't you think that maybe your ranting isn't helping? If you put it like that, she will be even more motivated to leave you behind, will she not? If you want to stop her, you've got to try harder. Byakuya is important to you, right? Yes, 
guess there's no other way. By force if I have to. Force? Wait. Gotta kill! Kill, 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 kill! Oh, I got no choice. I gotta start the slicing! Wait, what? Togo! If you don't get don't... serious, I'm seriously gonna kill you! Oh! Already, Togo? Oh, oh God! To escape, Kamaru Naegi. It would be troublesome if you did not play your role. Okay. Oh shit! Future Foundation made that stun gun, and my hacking gun should be able to. If you don't get serious, shit! I'm seriously gonna kill you. Shit! 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 Hacking gun. How do I? Uh, how do I hack? Do I use on these? No, I don't. Uh, knockback. Paralyze. Yes, it works on the stun gun. Okay, good. If you don't defeat me, you'll never be able to leave this town. So See? that's what I gotta do. Now what are you gonna do? Okay, so I just gotta use paralyze in order to disable her ability to you have to use it. Something. Good. That's what I gotta do then. Whether it's school or the outside world, it's all the same. Oh shit, that's like a Dark Souls boss or something. Oh, she's stripping her. Good, good. Jesus Christ, now, <laughs> now we see Kamara panties. All right. Careful, careful, careful. Keep strafing, keep strafing, keep strafing. Don't run to straight line. Wish you've gone to. Good. Don't let her. Don't let her recharge. Don't let her ever recharge. Even with the hacking gun, Komaru should be easily outmatched by Toko. Good. Okay, we just gotta make sure the juice if runs you out. Don't defeat me. You'll never be able to leave this town. Just gotta let the juice run out. Just gotta let the juice run out. Okay, good. Nice. Right. Oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, Ooh. She lost consciousness. Yeah, she did. The taser finally ran out. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe we actually had to fight Toko. Holy shit. Jesus. Toko. Oh. I lost consciousness. That means I must have lost. If that's the case, I can't stop you now. Hurry up and run. What are you doing? If you don't hurry, next time I really will take you by force. You did it on purpose, didn't you? She did. You lost on purpose. Huh? You lost on purpose so you can let me go. Right? Saying cruel things to me and attacking me without warning? It was an act, wasn't it? She was trying to push her away, trying to get her to leave, trying to get her to run away. Because she realized throughout adventuring with her, she didn't want to trade her in to save Byaki. She was going to find another way around. Toko does have a heart. Even in her argument, which she said she was being good at lying to people because she, you know, she never actually grown close to anybody. At the end, that was also lies. All the hateful things and all the terrible things she said to her were just to get her to, you know, to get her to leave. To get her to be upset with her and to leave. Goddamn, Toko. So that I wouldn't hesitate to leave you here. What are you talking about? Why would you think that? Don't treat me like an idiot. I already know you're much stronger than I am. We've been together all this time. Toko, why? If things stayed the same, you never would have made a move, would you? You always made me decide. You didn't do anything on your own. So you... Wanted to give me a chance. I was with you all this time, you know? I... I know you well, too. And also, listening to this crazy idiot's orders just makes my skin crawl. The feeling is mutual. Hope. <laughs> it sounds disgusting when you say it. Well, that is completely understandable. But are you really okay with this? If Miss Komaru runs away... The safety of the hostage cannot be guaranteed.
know personally, it's for the sake of the game. Byakuya Togami is important to you, is he not? Then allow me to lend a hand. See, you'll still make it if you go now. Though you two share knowledge, you don't share memories, correct? So then, you have no idea who the real enemy is. An honest mistake, I said. Idiot! Uh, it's no mistake. What I share with her isn't just knowledge. She and I also share emotions. If we didn't, there's no way we'd both love Master. Uh, and my emotions are telling me this. To kill you and let Dekomaru escape. And you're something of a pretty boy yourself, so I can kill you as I like. No remorse. Ah, I see. So you've decided to stop taking advantage of Komaru Naegi. Is that friendship? Huh? To travel the harsher path for the sake of protecting your friend. Such beautiful friendship. I truly think it's a splendid thing. But aren't you a serial killer? You're an aberrant who has no problem taking lives to satiate your own lusts. For someone like that to say things like friendship or friends, do you not find it strange? Or even shameful? <laughs> Friendship! Friends! <laughs> Obviously, friggin' not. How you call it, my friend? No! You're my friend! What are you doing? Let go! Mm -mm. No, I won't! I mean, you made a promise with Byakuya, right? You said... You won't kill anyone anymore. If you keep your promise, you can be an official member of Future Foundation. That's why you... You just can't. I never thought of... of you or Toko as abnormal, not even one bit. You're just a little strange, that's all. But even so, you are important to me. You and I are friends now, no matter what happens. You're a precious friend and I won't let you do this! You know... You're probably wasting your time. I mean, after all, she knows she needs to kill me. Byakuya's life is in danger as long as I am alive. If she breaks the promise we made and lets you escape... I'll stay. If that's how it is. If I stay in the city and go with her, then it's fine, right? That's right. Hey! You know what the hell you're talking about? You were crying and whining about escaping earlier, remember? You know what? You change your mind? I still want to escape! I'm still scared! Even now, but you feel the same way, don't you? You were scared too, but you tried to help me escape. And hid how afraid you really were inside, didn't you? There's no way I can run now, leaving you behind! As expected. You just don't get it. I betrayed you. I betrayed you, you know? No, no you didn't. And you're suffering from guilt, aren't you? 
If you're hurting, you can tell me. I'm an unreliable, normal girl who can't do anything. But I can at least do normal things, right? And it's normal for a friend to help a friend. I'll stay. No matter how much you say no, I will definitely stay with you, all right? I've decided. Man, so annoying. All that lip service talk that I hate, so damn irritating. Anybody can just say something. In that case, I'm a great detective, an astronaut, a reporter, and a Terra super beauty. <sighs> and besides, you have absolutely no idea what I'm really like. What do you mean? There's no way I'd say no. Huh? Rather... <sighs> Thanks. <gasps> Toko! <sighs> uh, 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 <sighs> oh. So, um, about what just happened... It... it's all right. I kind of figured out what was happening. Huh? Really? F friend? <laughs> the last time I was called that was in a dream I had in grade school. That's pretty oh. Well, you're actually one of many friends that I have, so you don't have to take it that seriously. You bring that up now? Let me have this moment a bit longer, jeez! Well, guess it turned out so all right. not funny! If Komaru Naegi had run away, the hope of this city would have gone with her. <laughs> that was just utterly beautiful. That was... Oh. <laughs> well, I'm so many emotions in me. Finally! <laughs> oh, Toko is finally growing a little bit. Oh my god, and Komaru is just standing up. Komaru is my girl! My girl! There we go. Prevents her from killing anybody so she can be a member of Hope Speak Academy. And stays with her. Oh my god. That was... That was so tense. That was so tense. <sighs> that was beautiful. That was beautiful. To prevent that, a wound like this will not diminish my resolve. Though it does hurt. It's time you started talking. How do we release Master Byakuya? There we go, Toko. Now you go. Now you go. Now you just be straight up mean to him. You have a right to just don't kill him, but be mean to him. All you have to do is defeat the final boss. You save the princess after defeating the final boss, right? In theory. In theory? So, Monica? I was not the only one who came up with the plan to take you to the children's base. I have a partner, but I'm not sure what they are planning, to be honest. Wait, who is his partner? Who is that? There's no way I would tell you that. I have already been disqualified from the game. But it'll be alright. No matter what kind of despair awaits you, hope will overcome it. The deeper and darker the despair, the brighter and more powerful the hope born from it. Yeah, you're crazy, all right. Mm -hmm. You are seriously disgusting. You're like three steps below vomit in a toilet. Anyway, all you need to do is progress forward. I will support you until the very end. So in order to get back Byakuya, we need to stop the children's rioting, right? Then... I'll do it. There's no other choice. Right, Toko? But... are you sure you can do this? There's no way I can accept leaving you behind. That's my girl! That's my girl! Kamaru, yes! Yes! Oh, she's finally not running away from things. Finally, she's gonna actually stick with Toka stick until the very end! Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Thanks to you, I've come this far. And not just that. Maybe I'm not really attached to this town, but I will save my friend. There we go. Kamaru. 
Oh, and one more thing. I have a little hint for you. What is that? The building the children are using as a headquarters is called Toa Hills. Marching in there with just the two of you would be a bit... suicidal. Monokumas have dug in all around Toa Hills. Even you two would have trouble with that many. Then what do we need to do? Well, we could ask for help. From Shirakuma and Haichi. Their help? They want to stop the children as much as we do. Shirakuma said it too. If we work together, everyone can be saved. And everyone's happy, right? What? Where did that come from? Now's not the time for heroics. Kamarga inspired. But I think you and I can do it. It's going to be all right. Ah, such splendid growth. Your world has gradually grown wider, as expected of his little sister. My judgment was indeed correct. In a way, I understand exactly what Nugget was trying to do. He was trying to see there could be a potential that a sister could be like the brother, you know? The sister could be like the brother and retain at least a fraction of the potential and the ability for hope that, you know, Makoto would have. In a way, he was trying to do things for the good. He was trying to inspire more hope, even though he had to be the ultimate despair and play the bad guy. His ideal goal is to... I'm sorry, but after the second game, there's no way I can hate Nagito. The things I can despise about him and things I may not agree with him, but I, there's no way I can hate Nagito at this point. I'm sorry, the second game has turned it around for me, man. His second game has completely turned around for me. Ah, that reminds me. The Resistance base is in the sewers underground, correct? In that case, there should be an entrance to the subway if you go through the business district. As I recall, there was a blue building. If you move through there, you'll reach the base. You're sending us on a pretty specific path. Is this also part of your scheme? I would prefer that you think of it as support. It is information that will help you. Well, it doesn't matter what you're scheming. Master and Kamaru, I'll protect them both. There we go, Toko. Even if it takes my life. Hopefully it doesn't. Do your best. Defeat despair. That's it. Just a little longer. Just a little longer, and that light of hope will swallow the despair of this place. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> so upset over something like this. You really are a child. Nagisei is not done. That's for certain.